Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's me, Eric, one of the education specialists for Eastern Banks Learning and Life Center. Thanks for coming back to another video if you are already a part of the channel. If you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. Make sure to subscribe, like and comment, share this video, and don't forget to click the notification bell in the top left or right corner of your screen to be notified of when we drop new videos, which is every single week. Also, make sure to check out our merch on our merch storefront. You can access our merch storefront by clicking the link in the description box. We have shirts, jackets, mugs, and so much more merch coming very, very soon. Today's video, we're doing a little bit of catch up here in the garden. As we move closer and closer to August or towards the midpoint in July, the weeds have really taken over in a certain spot of the garden. And I'm gonna take you to that area very soon. But the weeds have just taken over and we have to catch up and do a lot of uh, weeding and replanting. So we're gonna tackle some of those task today. Potted these tomato plants that we have off camera. We have a few more that still have to get a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them over here. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen tomatoes that are already up potted now. And then we have about 10 that still, like I said, have to get a bit bigger before we up pot them into their own container. These will not stay here in their containers for too long. I'm gonna leave them in their container for about uh, close to two weeks. And then probably not even that long because I do wanna get them in the ground. So probably at most a week and a half. So, my, a maximum of 10 days is what I'll is how long I'll leave them in these pots and so after that 10 day mark we'll put them in the ground I know you guys haven't been here in the greenhouse in a while I know it looks a little messy but we're gonna get it cleaned up very soon we have our garlic and onions curing in here and then we have some beets and carrots growing as well. And then we have more plants being started. We have some zinnias, basil, as you can see, zinnia, basil. Um, and then we also started some cabbage, broccoli, Swiss chard, cilantro. We also started all of that. So that will be growing very soon. The whole point of me actually starting a lot of the plants, especially the fall crops that take a long time, like cabbage and broccoli, cauliflower. I wanted to have a lot of the plants ready to go directly into the garden. In September, once, once we start our garden sessions again for the new school year, that way the students will be able to see what the plants look like before they start them themselves, start a second round. And we'll also be able to have like a early crop to harvest after we get them in the ground. So that just allows us to have more food coming from the garden constantly. So that is always a plus. Always keep plants ready on hand. I'm actually going to use this pot here and do some more Swiss chard. There's nothing wrong with having too many Swiss chard plants. So I want to be able to have as many as we can to harvest as much as we can. I'm not going to, it's a lot of seeds in here, so I'm not going to put too many, but I'm going to put just enough. That way I can up pot them and we'll be able to have them in the garden soon.
here, this area we're gonna be putting down. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows. And we have four different types of crops here. So we have three different types of radishes. We have pink beauties. We have the cherry bell radish. And we also have the sparkler radish. This radish is really pretty and it has a very, very vibrant red. Like even though it's red on camera, on the package, in person, once you harvest the radish, it is so much more vibrant. And the last crop that we will be planting today are the purple top white globe turnips. I'm moving these peppers to the other side of the greenhouse, the other row on the other side. These actually came from right here in front of the zinnias. And I love these zinnias. Like they bring in so many different pollinators, the butterflies and bees and um, hoverflies and the, it's another type of bee, I forgot its name, but I'll put little pictures on the screen. But the pollinators love the zinnia, so I don't want to remove them. But these peppers, <clears throat> excuse me, were right here in front. And as you can see, this area does not get a lot of sunlight. And that's mainly because the zinnias are blocking that sun. And that could be perfect for certain crops like your lettuces, your lettuces, your lettuce, <laughs> uh, certain summer crops that don't like that much sun, uh, different types of zucchini and melons because they have flowers and they're right next to the pollinators, which would be perfect. But the peppers, they need more sun. So we're gonna move them from here to the other side of the greenhouse and we're gonna be there right now. I'll put one pepper here. I'll put that one, the biggest one there. So I'll just sit it there. That can go there in the middle of that pepper patch. And then we can place all of the other peppers here next to our other peppers. <laughs> so let's go ahead and plant all of them. Oh, my God. 
Well guys, that's today's video. We have a very bountiful harvest, beautiful harvest. We have basil, three different types. We have cardinal basil, blue basil, and dark opal basil. We have onions, carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, um, and dill. I forgot dill. We do have dill. So I'm gonna go ahead and package this up to get it ready to go to a family this upcoming week um and i just want to say thank you guys for watching our video today we had a good time in the garden we got a few things done so that's perfect we didn't get as much done as we wanted to but we didn't want to overheat so anytime you're working in your garden this weekend or the rest of the summer make sure to keep you some water i always keep me a bunch of ice and water in this cup and always make sure that you have sunscreen on, some something to cover your head from the sun, and just take your time, go slow, and do just enough to get by to the next day. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Make sure to follow us on our socials at Easton Banks. Well, our handle for Easton Banks is E-B-L-L-C-I-N-C, -L -L both on Facebook and Instagram. But on TikTok, our handle is Project Grape. G-R-A-P-E, not great, grape, like the fruit. Um, also, again, as a reminder, go to the link in our description box to get you some merch. Look at this beautiful shirt. It's very nice. Your support means everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. You can watch more of our content here. Until the next video, we'll see you all later in the garden. Bye.